So here's how you do it. First of all, of course, you got to find a cool old phone. I went online on eBay and I found this. I love, I've been wanting one of these for a long time, just like the old 1967s type phone. This one was a 1969 Western Electric. So the guy said it worked, and I'm like, how does it work? I don't even have a landline anymore. Um, but I went online, I did some research, and here's what you have to do. Now this one had a strange plug. Maybe some of you are used to this. I've never seen that before. Mine that I grew up with just had that little thing. But I had to buy the adapter, which was like all $10. These phones on eBay, anywhere from 40 to 80, just depends on what kind of quality you get. But here's the key. I found this thing. This is the X-Link Bluetooth Gateway. And it actually has a little plug on the side to allow for a phone. So what you do is you plug this in, of course, so it has power. You push the button on the top. When you push the button on the top, that creates a Bluetooth uh, network. Then you have to take your phone, of course, and you sync your phone to that network. So now you are hooked up, right? You're all hooked up and ready to go. Um, once you get it synced and hooked up, then you just have to take the cord and you plug it in. So your phone is literally connected to the Bluetooth network. Now, theoretically, you should be able to make phone calls using your cell phone, but through the rotary phone. So, there it goes. I actually hear the old school ring in there. See? Hang on. There you go. You can make and receive calls when someone calls your cell phone. This phone will ring. That's how you make an old rotary phone work with your cell phone.